You guys have seen me sell thousands of video games over the years. Well, today I've got a U-Haul trailer. I need to fill it and I need to sell thousands of games this week. The goal is to sell at least 3,000 games at my garage sale. The problem is that I don't have these games at my house. So first off, we got to get all the games. Second off, we don't want to get any games that shouldn't be sold at a garage sale. So I'm selling them for a flat rate of $3 a piece, all of them. So if the game's worth $20, I don't want it in my garage sale. If it's worth 10, I'll consider it. 10 and under, that's what I'm putting there. However, it doesn't stop here. Over the next three days, we have a ton to finish before we can have this sale. If it's not ready, we have a ton going on in our schedule and we'd have to postpone the whole thing for over two months. So we need to turn these games into cash now. And guys, everything I'm doing right now, the sense of urgency that I have is because we don't really have the storage space for this stuff. I'm paying for a uh, storage unit right now. So I need to build the barn. Um, I brought you guys into the journey a little bit, but the goal for selling all this stuff as fast as possible and <laughs> in as many ways as possible is to build a dream barn for my business. So I don't own this barn, I own everything inside of it, but we need to build a barn on my property so that Skylar and I and whoever else comes on in the future can have an awesome place to work and run the business of my dreams that I've dreamed about since I was eight years old when I started reselling on eBay. So for a section like the Atari 2600, most of these will qualify for my garage sale. That being said, you still could find some gems in here. I'm seeing ColecoVision games mixed in and I don't really want to sell those for $3. Looks like there's actually some interesting ones like Shark Attack or Subscan that you don't see very often. I don't know if I should sell those for $3. People are gonna catch me slipping at my garage sale, but I, I want it to happen as little as possible. And then the other problem is, where am I gonna put 3,000 games? Good thing is we have these shelves, so we need to load up as many of these as we can, hopefully at least four. They do hold about six or 700 games, so four of them should pretty much do the trick. The third problem is limited time, because in four hours, we're doing an auction. We're doing a whatnot auction. We're going live as another way to sell hundreds of games. So we're going crazy in every single possible platform. I always talk about diversification, but that can lead to challenges because we have to feed every single avenue. It's good, but it's busy and it's a lot and we got to get to work. All right, so Skylar is rigging up the, the body cam for the GoPro. But the thing is like, I, I don't know what to really look for and what not to look for. So Chase, that, uh, yeah. Chase has to guide me as well. I kind of so. have to process through first make sure i grab everything that i know is good that way i can do you know a bunch of the bulk work and really get as many games as possible i've been reselling for 20 years right so a lot of the stuff i'll know but then there's stuff that's just worth money um that i might not know that'll have to be looked up uh we'll kind of bring you guys along for some of that thought process um, but i'll take you over to the nes section if you're ever in a position where you have a bunch of games to process you could probably look everything up, but when you have, you know, there's still about 30,000 games in this barn. Sometimes uh, you're not going to be able to look every single one up, but when you got a stack of NES footballs, I'm, I'm good with putting $3 on all those, all these NES golfs. Sure, $3 sounds good. Baseball, $3. That sounds great to me. This is uh, bases loaded. We got about 50 of those. $3. So stuff like that's easy, um, and we'll be able to get a lot of games that way. Do we need to grab shelves first? Yeah, I think we got to start there for sure. Okay. Because that's number one priority we got to have shelves to put everything on so we just did a count there's roughly 150 on each shelf just for these atari so 150 300 no. 450 600 a thousand games yeah 1050 oh my gosh well that's good to know yep thousand there probably another 800 here here's the thing when having a garage sale you got to market it well so you got to get people there and people are always extremely happy resellers included with my garage sale with the flat price video games pictures need to have a lot of like nintendo games snes games n64 that type of stuff that draws the big crowd and then once they're there they can look at wii ps2 xbox all the other stuff and pick and choose from there and then all the third-party controllers everything else i've got to offer but we got to <laughs> get them there that's the key i got people driving from different states every year all from many hours away i already have two guaranteed coming from a different state we got to get them there okay so we got this one cleared off on top let's see how heavy, heavy board is. oh my gosh are we in for a treat are we, are we connected? after realizing that this is going to be a little bit more difficult than we thought we decided to move the smallest shelf in the building first yeah i think once we get another one up against it we'll be good but we do have like these nails sticking out and stuff. Yeah, that's right. I just pounded in the nail with my palm. <laughs> okay, so already we're running into a problem. Yeah. Uh, we think that these shelves 
are connected. They're, some, like, they're somehow they're, connected, maybe so they don't fall, but this one I just pulled. Okay. And this, this one seems like <laughs> it might be connected on the other side. Like, no, oh, no, no, it's good. I think we're good. Okay, so we're just going to have to abandon that, but that also means we have to clear off this shelf now if we're going to use it. Yep. So let's do it. Okay. There's, there's not, thankfully, there's not too much in here. Okay, sweet. First minute games, maybe 20 games. All right, now the uh, big boy. That's these are just Ooh. Justin made these himself. Yes, he did. Right? He like it was, solid. It was two hundred dollars in wood, and that was back when wood was uh, a, cheap. <laughs> a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> a lot cheaper than today, as I'm finding out with my stick and pole barn quotes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, somehow we got it out here. I only hit my head once. And <laughs> yep, I think we're just gonna straight up slide it all the way back. That'll help prop this one up. Dude, might be able to fit five or six. Heck. Well, I mean, if we can only get four clear, then that's okay. Yep. Like that's already more than enough. If just one of those can hold 800 games or a thousand. If we get a fifth one in there, it can hold my collection games. Okay. I need some more shelves. Yeah. All right, so we can fit 150 Super Nintendo games in these bins. Now, are there any cartridges that have like special art? Or is it only box variants? Also, this game belonged to DB Cooper. I mean, there can be uh, alternate arts, but not really. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna start moving games. Oh, we can free up the shelf. Get some good garage sale stuff in the process. Uh huh. All right. So I'm gonna continue to empty this shelf and just kind of reallocate it back to the shelf. What are you gonna go through? I'm gonna go through NES games. We got Top Gun. Those aren't very good. I'll just separate the five screw ones. Okay. Yep. All right, shelf clear. That's good. Good stuff. Almost got a bin filled. Cool. Once right. that bin's filled, we'll, we'll just say 100 games. We'll, we'll low, low box. We got a little bit of a mix of SNES and SNES. Please don't tell me these are connected. Yeah, they are. You can see where it's nailed right there. It took taking everything off the shelves, everything on top of the shelves, including the wood boards holding everything up, finding a screwdriver and unscrewing all of the screws that were screwed into the shelves. We're now separated. Got this, put it back so you know where to get it. Oh gosh, <laughs> Justin, I'm sorry. <laughs> I broke the chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so we're about an hour in. It's been, it's been a bit of a doozy getting the shelves loose because they're all screwed together. But we got three in the truck. We might be able to get three more and Right now I've got one bin of games packed away, like SNES and NES, which those are the most important ones to get because that's what draws the crowds. So it's a good start, but Skylar, you gotta work on unscrewing that next shelf so we can get that out and I'll continue packing up SNES games. So what's our game count at? Uh, probably 150. Out of 3,000? <laughs> yep, I'll keep working. All right, let's go. All right, what am I doing? All right, so the most obvious things, 10 yard fights all gotta go, 720s all gotta go. Baseball, okay. Bandai Golf, Jelco, which is baseball. Um, those, Bayou those Billy? Most, yeah, probably Bayou Billy's. Blades, Blades of, of Steel. Steel. Okay. So start there. Cool. That'll fill more than one bin. So. Okay, cool. Now, on real quick. So why am I grabbing all these ones? So I'm, I'm pretty sure these probably sell for like eight, nine dollars on average. And if we're selling those individually, we might walk out with five or five to six. But selling them for three dollars at their garage sale, since we have so many things to do right now already, I'm very happy with that. And I think a lot of flea market sellers will love it because they sell games for five to ten at flea markets, and this is great inventory for them. So pile them up, <laughs> baby. Yes. All right, I think that's the max that this one can fill up. We know that roughly 150 games can fit in them. You know, push this one to the side, grab another. Actually, I don't waste a trip. Let's bring it up. There's one thing I've learned from Chase. Maximize your time, no wasted trips. And I still usually forget. Efficiency, Efficiency baby. Um, how many did, were you able to separate? Um, just these ones. Oh, okay, so this is a nice little stack. Maybe 50 games? 
on the Atari 7800, and then there's another stack there, so maybe like 70. Okay, cool. And those are all worth over $10 or 15 or how are you going? Uh, I, I don't even know if any of them are, but they're, they're ones to look up, or I got all the Atari 7800s, because those are a little bit better. Okay. And then that's like really easy to make a good lot on eBay with those. Okay, cool. Other than that, I'd say there's about, there was 1,050 we said initially. Yep. I took out 70, so just consider it another 1,000 games here. Yeah, because we still have all these box ones up here that we might. Uh, yeah, I'm going to separate I mean, all those. Cool. Okay, so we're going to test the 150 games theory. There's roughly 150 games here. Let's see how many Atari games it takes to fill up this tub. My guess is it's going to be a little bit more. I'm going to go two, like maybe one and a half of these, so we'll see. All right, guys, I'm taking about at the halfway point, and we have this many games in the bin. <laughs> Comment below how many you think that are actually going to fit. All right, I'm going to comfortably say this is half the bin, and that was just one shelf. So I think we can fit 300 Atari games into each of these. So... That's pretty sweet. I'm just going to fill this one up and then we're going to have to fly for the rest. I think I have an idea. Hey, uh, Chase, how sturdy are these Atari games? Like, how, how easily can they be broken? Uh, you'd have to, like, throw them. Okay. So, like, I'd really have to try to break them. Yeah. Okay, that's it. All right. So what I think I'm just going to have to do... Now, Chase, would you say that sounds like breaking? Uh, kinda. Kinda? Okay, well, don't worry about it then. Just, just go back to business. That's kind of fun. Woo! Perfect fit, let's go! All right, we're gonna figure out how to tape that up later. Guys, this box is what, 24 by 24 by 18? Yep. <laughs> okay, I've got 1,400 games over there right now. All right, well I got another 370. So 1770. Okay. Cool, so we're past the halfway point, and it's uh, 10 o'clock. We've got till so, 12.30. So we're killing it. If you're a real OG to the channel, season one, episode 17, in television? I have in television an 85-year-old <laughs> lady smoking in the garage had hundreds of beautiful Boston television games in the basement. Always ask, the power of the ask. Who can make the sun rise? Fill a van with games. Caterpie. The Caterpie crew. The Caterpie crew. The Caterpie crew. Five shelves secured. Yep. About 2,000 games secured. Yep. Um, I'm feeling really good, dude. Like yeah. we could get a lot more than just for the garage sale. Yeah, we're doing all right. Okay. So well, this is the most obvious shelf. If we can fit one more, you just get, we just we have to unscrew it. it. But I now think these can yeah, this is the same as all these. These have the GameCube games on it. Yep. Shout out to that episode where we bought this entire shelf of GameCube games. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. great. <laughs> Those were the days. Little did we know we would be buying <laughs> everything else. Moment of truth. Can this shelf fit in this this area? <laughs> I know I can't get back there with it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just swing it. All right, push it in. I'm not gonna be of much help. Keep going, or can it? There we go. All right, ready, three, two. All right. Yes, let's go. Okay, to this monstrosity. I think we're gonna tape it up. We thought of that. Three inch tape gun. Works wonders. Got all the shelves, we just need about a thousand more games. 
Belgian um, more games. We got a, I want to get a good variety. So we've have we've got Atari, we've got SNES. We need a little more Nintendo. On top of all the existing stuff that we have. Yeah, I've got I've got at home ten bins of trade in, so okay. that's gonna be everything. Yeah. Um, but I think we're gonna need like a lot of Wii games, a lot of PS4. Yeah. True. And any just all the systems so that we can attract every single different person that might yeah. want Wii or whatever. Okay. And then maybe even some Sega Genesis cartridges. That could Ooh, be smart true. too. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna Let's start go. I'm gonna start with Wii and get maybe a good hundred Wii games and then I'll probably go over to original Xbox and PS2 to cater to those markets. What about uh new stuff? Should we get any like PS4, Xbox One type stuff yeah, or if, if limited? We can buy any of it, I think that's honestly really important. So actually I'm gonna start there. Okay. Otherwise this stuff goes to Amazon normally, correct? Yeah, I mean the good stuff. Um, yeah. I'm not as familiar with which games aren't really worth selling individually on these systems. Destiny 2. <laughs> that one. one. Both Destinies, probably. Yeah, so yeah we'll, we'll throw in some so. of those. Get some blue cases in the picture. I'm going to go do cartridges now. Bartle do donkey. Bartle do donkey. All right, so I got a full bin, about 150 Xbox One and PS4 games, and then also the PSP, some of those. Now I'll move over to Wii and original Xbox and PS2 for this bin. Or maybe just Wii, because there's a whole lot of them. 4,000 Wii games, I would say. I'm going to load up what we got. We got another 600 games here. Good bin of NES games down there, which I feel good about. Skylar's working on more back here, so make that. Probably, I mean, that's 150 easily. Probably get another 300. So. All right, so six, 600 plus 300. That's 900. 900. And we were at... We were at 2,000. Shoot, and I still got a ton of NES to go through. Are we grabbing it all? Or should we focus, we, we have six more bins. And, yeah. we, and we're killing it on time. Yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna be looking good on NES after you finish that bin. Okay. And then we'll move on to just Sega random oh, yeah. stuff. I'll, I'll fill this with some Sega cartridges. So. All right, lots of bins full. And we still got more to grab. Now I gotta move these bins. <sighs> Chase, my back hurts. Can we take a, like, two-hour break? <laughs> <laughs> so you're grabbing popular titles for, you know, 360, PS2, PS3? Like, just fun yep. games? Hodgepodge of everything. Um, These are some good games. Yeah, I mean, like, like, there's some good ones that people are familiar with and that sold a bunch. Yeah. They're not worth a lot, but for $3, you can't go wrong. Uh-huh. The battery's getting low. How many games you got? I'd say comfortably 350. Okay, so we are well over our 3,000 mark now. We done did Let's it. Go. Let's Except go. Except we still have a big variance of stuff to get. We do, yeah. I, I got a good variety in here, but there's still certain sections that haven't been tapped into. But I did get PS2, um, PS1, and then there's some PS3 buried underneath. The Into the trailer. And then these boxes have just been sitting here, you know, since we got the barn. And every time we come, they're in the way. So I'm thinking we might take some of these just to get them out of the way and to make it feel a lot more clear in here. But there are some interesting ones like over here. So this one, initially I thought that these would just all be like empty cases, but it actually looks like some of them are not. Like that one's in there. We successfully got well over 3,000 games packed up for the sale. We loaded more than enough shelves to hold them all and even had time to grab these extra boxes here. And don't forget about these boxes. We're gonna come back to these later and the surprises inside blew our minds. Today and tomorrow we have a couple of people coming by early, technically before the first day of the sale. So these are relationships that I wanna invest in and they'll also hopefully help us clear out a bunch of stuff because we definitely need more shelf room. While one of Chase's connections was looking through a bunch of the games, I started packing the shelves full while Chase decided to go and find more games. So as if we didn't have enough. <laughs> Yeah, I found some more in the barn. <laughs> it's endless. Four game. When did we even get these? I don't know. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Dude. What on earth? This is easily another few thousand games. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got a lot of shelves full including these two. <laughs> and we've been going through all these bins and boxes, but they're displayed pretty nicely. Um, there was a point where we pretty much gave up and stopped organizing them. 
because it just doesn't make sense to because we don't know how many of each we have. So I think people are gonna love it. All of the shelves definitely came in handy. We pretty much filled them all up. Everything looked super nice. We even set up some tables that had bins full of accessories around it. But of course, that didn't stop Chase from finding even more games to truly make this sale enormous. Remember how I said not to forget about these boxes? Folklore, definitely a bolo on PS3. Not original cover or case, so basically disc only, but great find nonetheless. All right, guys. I officially got to the bottom row and it looks like it's all GameCube. These ones are the ones that I found above the bottom row. They're all in there. Nothing crazy tied to uh, herbs and stuff like that to rock. There were some that were empty. Um, so it does have me concerned. Everything there has been empty. Everything here has been full and these are all like potential, potential value. These have all been full. Those are going in the garage sale for $3. But these, this is where it's at. We're gonna pull five randomly to see what lies within. All right, I'm gonna pull them first and then we'll check the discs all at one time. Swingers Golf, nothing too exciting there. Uh, freestyle Street Soccer. All right, let's go over here. Madden 07, not pulling anything great so far. Let's go here, Top Gun, and then here. Star Wars. All right, so nothing too phenomenal in those first five, but I'll check if they're there and I'll update you guys. All right, so we went five for five. All the discs were there. Now let's check out the rest of this box. Uh oh, we got a stack of Star Wars here. That could be some good stuff, guys. Wow, that is like all Star Wars. How many do we got? NBA Street 2. Oh boy. These appear to be pretty unpicked. Mega Man. All right. Come on now, we'll see what happens. So here it is guys, the final result is 130 GameCube games in the case, highlighted by a stacks of Star Wars, a couple NBA Street Volume 2s, NFL Street, you know, lots of WrestleMania, some Yu-Gi-Oh's, X-Men Legends, no crazy first, par first party games or anything. There was a Mario Strikers case, I got excited about that one, but it was empty. A um, Couple other cases, but most of them were in there. And we definitely struck gold on that one. All of these are gonna go to the garage sale, and then those we'll consider um, potentially sellable on eBay or Amazon. So that ended up being a great mystery box that I thought was gonna be full of just empty cases. Check out all these games. So there's about 4,200 games on shelves. That one's, that one's the money shot right there. Uh, cartridges, all sorts of stuff, <laughs> and then the bin of Game Boy games has a bunch, probably a few hundred in there, and then another couple hundred in the bin of Game Gear games. So we're sitting on about 4,700 games that are already ready to be sold. And I'm going through these extra boxes. I'm going through the, going to go through the disc only stuff. So we're going to have well over 5,000, probably more like 6,000 games by the time it's said and done. <sighs> Feeling good, but. A lot of work to get to this point. I'm so thankful to have these shelves, and I think it's going to be an epic garage sale. Check out this video here to see if we can sell through everything during the garage sale. Or if you're early, check out last year's epic garage sale.